Hi there, it's Tim from Tim's Electric, and this is another big guy review. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the X2, but this is the X. The reason why I'm riding the X first is I actually wrote this back in June of 2020, and what I wanted to do is have that comparison, have that knowledge of what it was like really fresh in my mind. Because June 2020, I was a bigger guy. I was about 25, 30 pounds heavier than I am today. And I just wanted to get the feel for what this is gonna be like, and then ride the X2 for you. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'm gonna be riding this around just for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna scoot back to ride the Glide, who have very kindly lent me both the X and the X2 for the day. I'm gonna swap it out and uh, yeah, give you my thoughts on the X2 by Dualtron. Alrighty, well here I am with the X2. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. Basically what I'm gonna do is just ride around Victoria. Uh, I'm gonna stop periodically. I'm gonna be talking about the braking, the acceleration, uh, speed, uh, what it's like for a big guy to ride around on this thing. Um, and of course the, uh, I said braking, acceleration, speed, just the overall what I think of it. So come with me, check it out. Let me know what you think down below. If you have any questions about the X2, please put those down in the comments. Very special thank you to our camera operator today, Melissa. Thank you for following me around and uh, leading the way also with her double unicorn. Alrighty, so the X2 does not disappoint. Uh, it has three gears or three speed modes, if you like. Uh, speed mode one uh, seems to top out at about 10 miles an hour, maybe 16 kilometers an hour. Speed, no, speed mode two, um, I don't know. I'm never gonna find out how fast these things go because I'm too old. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and I'm wearing an old plastic helmet. So I'm not gonna be doing speed tests with this. And if that's something you're really interested in, you can certainly find other people who will do speed tests on the on YouTube, on the YouTubes. Anywho, what I'm gonna do to share with you right now is what it's like up top here. So Melissa, come on over here in front of these beautiful houseboats here in Victoria, British Columbia. Um, I got powered up here. And then I'm gonna put my thumb on here. Now on the left hand side, or right in the middle here, you're gonna see there's a, um, might be able to see it, it might be more difficult, but uh, shows me the voltage on the stem and the voltage in the main pack down on the deck. So the stem, this piece here, has a big battery in here just to run all the lights and accessories that are on here. Um, it's got a horn, hazards, indicators left and right. Uh, it also, you can shut it off from here as well. Up top as well, we've got extra bars up here, one up here. These are an accessory bar, so if you've got extra things you want to put up, you know, like lights, that sort of thing, you, or uh, maybe GoPro mounts, that sort of thing, that's what that's for. And then also down below. Let's switch right down to the very bottom here. Right here, you're gonna see there's a, a dampener, and this is an adjustable dampener, so that means that I can adjust it up and down. I don't go fast enough to worry about having a dampener, but if that's something that's important to you, then it does come with a dampener. Uh, look at the size of these shocks. Now, that's crazy. That's, a, that's more than 10 inches. That's humongous shocks at the front. Um, massive 13 inch uh, tires and uh, you know, no tubeless tires. That's pretty amazing. Another one of those bars down here. 
And then up here, I'm not sure if I can turn that on or not. Is the light on? Yep, light on, light off. Nice big bright light for nighttime use. Uh, during the daytime, I don't see the point as much, but uh, I'll probably just leave it on. Let's come right down to the deck. On the deck, the whole thing lights up, and I'll put some B-roll of the deck lighting up. It is a very, very formidable kickstand. Um, watch your ankles when you're kicking that thing up and down. But it's really, really st sturdy. So for something as big and heavy as this, I really appreciate the fact that the kickstand is so strong. Uh, the deck itself is massive. Um, I'm going to be putting the statistics or the stats up on uh, how big the uh, battery pack is. But if memory serves me, I believe it's 42 amp hours. So it's a monster of a deck. Sorry, monster of a battery. It has charging ports, two charging ports right here. Um, on These are three pin charging ports. Yep, they're three pin. And uh, there are two of them on this side. On the other side, there's a two pin charging port. So that's gonna allow you to do what I call slow charging, which on something this big is probably around the 20 to 24 hour mark. Uh, and also fast charging, which is probably around five to six hours. At the back, another massive shock. Again, that's uh, my span of my hand is around 10 inches. So that gives you an idea how massive that is. 13 inch, of course, at the back. And uh, the nut brakes, again, hydraulic. One, well, I think it's 166 millimeter brakes at the back here as well. Big hydraulic brakes to slow this thing down. It has the Mini Motors i3 display, or i display, EY3 display, and also a thumbprint reader. So that's kind of handy to have. And really sturdy grips. Obviously with something like this, it's been developed to be an absolute behemoth and it's really, really strong. There is no wiggle room. There's no wiggle in the stem. When you're riding, it's absolutely sturdy. Um, anywho, I'm just gonna keep going around Victoria, put my helmet back on, keep the speed nice and low, but uh, follow up with you with regards to what it's like under braking, and also what it's like riding around with the dampener. Um, I've loosened it up a little bit, but I'll just tighten it up now and uh, see what it feels like. One of the most impressive things on this, the geometry of the suspension gives it the ability to be able to stick to the road. Plus, if you hit any big bumps, it's really, really amazing. <laughs> Well, after riding the Dualtron X this morning and then this afternoon riding around on the X2, I can see that there have been some improvements. Um, there are a bunch of things I really like. Number one is actually number one, which is the speed, speed gauge number one or speed limit number one. It puts it to about, as I said before, about 10 miles an hour, 16 kilometers an hour, which makes it on, you know, when you're going on tight areas when you've got pedestrians walking around it's really nice that you're not going to be lurching forward when you put it in number two though all bets are off you're getting you're getting ready for some speed again i don't know how fast and i haven't even bothered with speed number three it's an extremely smooth acceleration it's not as um, aggressive as the x was this may seem odd as well i think the actual um height of the handlebars is a little bit higher on the X2 as well. So if you are a taller person, then the X2 is, uh, is uh, it's it's going to be a really good sp uh, choice for you. Um, the dampener, I'm not so sure about the dampener. It's not for me, but maybe it is for you. Uh, maybe it keeps things a little bit more stable. What I do notice is that in um, tighter maneuvering areas, it's got a little bit less um, rotation. Not a huge difference, but there is definitely, it's hindered somewhat by having the dampener on there. I do like these bracing areas at the back for your feet. I find that's really, really handy, especially if you are thinking of taking off of the lights or something like that. Uh, the engineering is, a, the engineering of this is just second to none. It really is motorcycle quality, 
like good quality motorcycle parts. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a force. It really is a force. And, uh, you know, if this is something that you're interested in, if this is something where, you know, you have the means to, uh, to buy something like this, you know, I, I'd say go for it. It's, a uh, it's really pretty impressive uh, piece of engineering and uh, I'm delighted with it. Uh, it's not for me, you know, like I can barely lift this thing. Um, it's 150 pounds, I think it weighs. Very special thank you to Ride the Glide again for lending me out the X2 and uh, to Melissa for filming today. Uh, thank you also to watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave your comments down below. I reply to every single comment. And so, you know, if you have questions about the X2, let me know. If you think of uh, what I should be comparing this to, I think the obvious one to compare it to would be the 11X. So that might be something I could do in the future. Uh, if you guys are interested, then I'll do an 11X versus uh, Dualtron X2 uh, comparison. Um, but if there's another scooter out there you think that would be good to do a comparison with, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.